Hello everyone, so in today's video I'm going to do this amazing Gigi Hadid inspired makeup look. I absolutely am loving this makeup look right now. It's very very easy to do, only takes you about like maybe 15 to 20 minutes. I love this look so much and I have seen this look many times but I just thought of recreating this in today's video. So let's get started. So I'm starting the makeup with a clean face and I'll be using some Ayuga products and in this video for the skin prep and this video is in partnership with Ayuga. So first I am taking the 5% Kumkumadi Skin Radiance Face Wash and this is a gel like face wash so make sure you do the puffer pose ashna for this and what you do is fill your mouth with water and gently use your fingers to apply the face wash. Keep applying pressure and moving the water from left to right cheek or from right to left cheek and that way you can use this uh, face wash for your morning time skincare routine and for your nighttime skincare routine as well along with doing your face yoga ritual. So after using this face wash I am going to move in with the Ayuga Skin Radiance Serum which has 10% Kumkumadi oil in it. This serum is extremely lightweight and only 2-3 to three drops is going to work for your skin. As you can see while I'm applying the face serum I am doing the puffer pose as well in here. I am puffing out my cheeks and tapping my fingers gently and applying the serum. So this way the serum absorbs into the skin really really well and gives a very nice radiance to the skin. After applying the serum, I'm taking this 5% Kumkumadi Day Cream and this also contains SPF. This has 30 SPF in it and as you can see, the texture of this cream is very very moisturizing and it does not leave a white cast at all. So you can use this as your sunscreen and as your moisturizing cream as well in your morning skincare routine. Apply the cream as usual in a circular motion and make sure to blend it out really really nicely into your skin. So after that is done, after your skin is left with this moisturizing feeling, make a V between your index and middle finger and then just try and sculpt your jawline and cheekbones with the V. And try to do this on a regular basis as well. And after doing this step, hold the side of your forehead and massage inwards and upwards. And this also try to do it on a regular basis. And after that, you can do the blow fish pose. Squeeze your mouth so that it resembles that of a fish and hold your breath and keep that position for 10 seconds. You can get all these products at www.ayuga.n and Amazon and Nika as well. I'll provide all the links in the description and also you can get a 20% off when you use the code ARNAKSHI20. This is a flat 20% off. All their products have actually been made under USDA organic certified ingredients and are certified toxin free by made safe and is licensed by the Ayush ministry. So now let's move in with the makeup. So for my base I am taking this My Glam body lotion. This is actually a body lotion but I am just using this as a primer today and I absolutely love to use this as a primer so yeah this just gives a very nice glow to my skin and yeah as a someone who have dry skin I love looking glowy. So yeah, that's what I am doing. After that, I am going to do this. So actually this uh, Gigi Hadid inspired look. So I'm just showing you guys that. I am using the Misha BB Cream here. I love the Misha BB Cream so much. And I haven't been using the Misha BB Cream for a long time. So I just decided to use that for today's video. Now I am just uh, blending my BB cream with this NY Bay sponge and this is a very new favorite of mine. I absolutely love how this blend, uh, sponge blends the makeup and yeah that is why I am just using it all over my face. After using a BB cream, I'm going to go in with this sugar concealer. Now, this is the concealer that I love when I have to, you know, hide my dark circles and I need a little bit more coverage. I absolutely love how beautiful the coverage of this is. At the same time, it definitely looks super, super natural, I would say. I mean, obviously, it looks like makeup, but you know, since it is a full coverage makeup, 
it's not cakey so that is why i am using this today as my eyeshadow primer as well because i am not going to use an extra eyeshadow primer after that i am just brushing up my eyebrows uh, just to give a nice fuller look i'm going to use this elf wow brow i haven't used this in a while so yeah i'm just using it for today's video i absolutely love the elf wow brow i mean sometimes i use the blue heaven one a lot the blue heaven brow gel but this one is also amazing then i'm going to take this eyeshadow palette that i got from amazon a long time ago you can use any peach eyeshadow that you have and i'm taking this really nice soft peach matte eyeshadow and just blending it into my crease i'm just going to blend this very very lightly and almost everywhere as you can see i'm not blending this precisely or anything i'm just putting this all over my eyelids and just uh, blending it out after that i am going to take this dark um like i mean like a warm shade not dark warm brown shade this pulls a little bit more deep peach i would say so yeah i'm just blending this precisely not like the other shadow but yeah i'm blending this precisely in my outer corners and also on my crease as well whenever i'm using these shadows i love it because it it's so warm and it it's so summery i love peach shadows so much i haven't been using that many warm tone shadows i'm sticking more to lilac these days so i was super happy to do this look so yeah this is how my eyeshadow looks like yeah so just try to blend it really nicely and that's it after that i'm taking this brown actually i just wanted a little bit of a brown uh, tone to the eye look because I was looking at the photograph of Gigi and she definitely did have a little bit of a brown shadow going on especially in her outer corner so yeah I'm just trying to mimic that as much as possible obviously this is like a more so like an inspired look not like an exact exact similar look so yeah I'm just trying to blend the edges out here a little bit after that i'm taking this uh, super shimmer shadow that i have and i am again trying to mimic the shadow that Gigi had Gigi had a really nice duo chrome shadow which had a very nice green and icy icy shift to it so this is the shadow from nif cosmetics in the shade bliss and it's mostly i would say 80 percent similar maybe not 100 but I feel like it's 80% similar because when I move my head in a downward position, as you can see right now, it gives a very nice greenish type of a effect. But when I look straight into the camera, it gives a very nice icy effect. So this is definitely very, very duochrome. Something similar that Gigi had, as you can see right now. So after that, I'm taking this deep brown shade right here and I am just deepening up my outer corners just near the lash line, I would say, because Gigi definitely had a darker shade in near her lash line. So again, I'm trying to mimic that and I'm uh, taking the, uh, you know, the shadow in my lower lash line as well, because I do want a little bit of the smoky effect. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to do right now. And I'll do the same to the other eye as well. This look is super, super simple. The only shadow that is a really nice bling effect is the shimmer shadow. So yeah, so this is how uh, yeah the eye look has turned out. And after that, I'm taking a white pencil because Gigi definitely had a white or a beige uh, eye kind of eyeliner near her waterline. So yeah, I don't generally like white liners for me so i'm taking this essence mascara now you can take any mascara that you want or you like but i love a really nice this like really nice lengthening and volumizing mascara i will be going in with my falsies this is how my eye makeup has turned out after that i am taking this lash glue and applying it in the falsies you guys know i always uh, put the falsies near my lash line and in my outer corners uh, so this is what i am trying to do right now as well Gigi, i think she definitely had a little bit of a falsy effect i don't know but her lashes look so good i had to go in with her falsies so that's what i am trying to do right now as well and yeah i'm trying to put the falsies as close to my lash line as possible and this is how the eye makeup 
looks after using the falsies now i'm going in with a bronzer and this is my new favorite bronzer i would say this is the inside bronzer cream bronzer and yeah this gives a very nice soft kind of a really nice effect on my skin and this looks super super natural now to be honest i don't know what bronzer or contour Gigi used because uh, i couldn't see her bronzer or contour that properly i mean the shade so i just went in with a bronzer that i am currently in love with and yeah this is actually a rebound love i would say i have fallen in love with this again i used to use this before a lot after that, I'm taking this SFR blush. Now, this blush is kind of similar to what Gigi had, I feel like. Uh, again, I couldn't see her blush that well. So, yeah, she definitely had a really nice uh, warm tone blush. And this is the blush that I am using. And this blush may be discontinued, I don't know. But I'll try to find and link it down below. And after that, I'm taking this Maybelline Fit Me powder. And I'm just putting it in the areas where I feel like there is a little bit of shine. Because as from the photograph I have seen of Gigi, she definitely did not look glowy at all. She looked very, very matte. After that, I'm taking a lip liner. Now, the lipstick Gigi had was very, very pale nude. Now, if I use a pale nude lipstick without the lip liner, it's going to wash me out. As obviously, I have brown skin. So, I am just using a brown lip liner. Then, I'm going in with this Forever 52 lipstick, which is very nice pale nude on my skin tone and it's going to match the eyes perfectly uh, so yeah this is how the lipstick is looking I absolutely love this combo so much it is one of my favorite lipstick combos and this is how the makeup looks like after that I am going to take a setting spray I'm taking the pack micro fixer because this is really really good absolutely love it I have mentioned it time and again on my channel and yeah this is how the makeup looks like i am going to show you guys a picture of Gigi as well at the end i'm trying to put on some hoops right now Gigi definitely did not have any hoops i think she had like a really nice big gold chain so yeah anyway i love hoops so i'm just putting on my hoops right now after that i will be showing you guys the picture this is how my makeup turned out let me know in the comments down below if this looks similar i mean obviously it doesn't look exact exact same uh, because i don't have the exact products but i tried to mimic the makeup i absolutely love it I, I was actually going through my pinterest feed the other day and i saw this makeup and i was like instantly thinking i can totally recreate it so yeah here is my take on this Gigi hadid makeup look and yeah let me know again if you guys would want me to create celebrity makeup looks um and i would totally totally love to do that for you guys so anyway thank you so much for watching and i would love to hear your opinions in the comments down below and yeah subscribe to my channel i post almost daily on this channel so yeah i love you guys a lot and i'll see you in my next one bye bye